Hey everybody, Josh down here at Advantage One RV. And I gotta ask you, can a camper be better than new? I know that sounds like a, a sleazy kind of thing to say like, yeah, of course a salesy guy would say that. But if there was ever a camper that could plead the case, this is a maybe used once 2021 Wolf Pup 16 uh, FQ Black Label Series with a bunch of accessories and upgrades, including a hitch from the previous owner that right after they bought it, basically their professional life changed out from under them. Their work schedule changed drastically and they just found that they weren't able to go camping as they originally planned. Eventually, they do plan to get back into camping. They plan to get something a little bit bigger, but they figured in the meantime, man, if we ain't using it, might as well let go of it. <laughs> so my hat's off to whoever takes this thing home. This is a find. Now we are uh, actually starting on the toilet today so that you can see, in case you hear something that sounds like a, a nest full of bees, uh, that is that big XL Max Air vent fan above us right there. It is hot today. I've got just a kitchen window open, and I tell you, it has dropped the temperature in here at least 10 degrees versus outside. Not to mention just having air moving the entire time feels great. And uh, I suppose if you don't close the bathroom door sitting here on the toilet, you could engage yourself in a staring contest with the people on the sofa over there. Although I'm pretty confident they're going to blink first. One of the really cool things about this model is that during the day, the bed just goes uh, away, but there's still storage below it. It gives us the space and the seating of a slide out without the weight and the cost of a slide out. And then when you open that up, that does open up into a camp queen bed, but it has a little bit of a secret weapon. It can fit a 60 by 80 mattress, which a lot of people don't realize on this floor plan. And where that's really cool is there's a lot of people to go, yeah, look, I don't care about the folding Murphy sofa thing. I just want a big bed. You can put a, a big true queen in here and it will work. It doesn't touch the kitchen counter. It doesn't block off the entry door. It just works. Now the camper has what I think I would call a conventional interior height. It's six and a half foot tall, but it also has that full roof uh, 13,500 BTU air conditioner. And as we look around, like you see that bucket right there, that's full of accessories like water and electric surge guards and things. Uh, a 30 to 15 amp uh, adapter plug that uh, you know was provided to the previous owners from uh, Haylet RV basically just down the street. All of the original accessories, and then some, like you see here, they added a paper towel holder. They added some little uh, cup organizers behind the uh, sofa right there, or uh, the, the stove, not the sofa, you idiot. What is wrong with me? They added the TV over there that wasn't here from the factory. They only enhanced this RV. That's what I mean by potentially better than new. Now, this RV does have, uh, it's a simple solar battery tending package called a juice pack. But this little thing over here, very handy to give you an idea of how much juice is left on your battery. And uh, the uh, the RV doesn't have just conventional seam tape. It's actually a plastic T-molded strip that clicks in place. And that stuff, it just doesn't tend to, to pop out of the wall, you know, when the RV gets hot, gets cold, etc. You may have noticed that's a huge refrigerator. That is one of those giant 12-volt DC compressor fridges. It's 10 plus cubic foot in terms of total capacity. The, uh, the dinette does have storage below it. You could stuff me down there if I get out of line, although you'd probably have to break me down into little pieces first, uh, mob style. <laughs> um, the uh, so dinette can also fold down. Why, where am I going with this? That's what I want to know. It can fold down into a little sleeper and check out that giant window over here on the door side of the RV. That's something else I want to point out. Other upgrades put in by the previous owner. The full shade in the entry door, the pull handle on the entry door, and notice again, all of the door side window coverage you could ever want on this thing over here. I love it. I think it's really cool. The only little modification personally I would make is I would put a little access door right there under the dinette and I'd turn that into a shoe garage myself. It's a zero dollar thing. It doesn't really affect the RV in any way, but it does make your, your daily use uh, of the RV a lot, lot easier. Now, when you're sitting on the sofa, you are just directly across from the entertainment, which is great. And this RV, I think, is a perfect example of what people sometimes go, why do they slot the top of those bathroom doors? First of all, some people worry about the, the audio privacy uh, of when you're in the bathroom. Keep in mind, these, are, these walls are hollow as a drum. 
they ain't blocking a whole lot of any sound. The reason that is uh, slotted right there is with that big XL vent fan open, you can crack these frameless windows, which normally don't get great airflow, but with that uh, big XL vent fan, you can't tell this on camera, but it is, it's making a significant breeze through here. Actually, hold on, check this out. Watch this. They look how new this is. They still have the original little, you know, propaganda tags uh, uh, hanging up here. <laughs> that fan gets the job done, son. Another handy little update here from the previous owners is they added a uh, like a little clothesline, which above the shower, you know, if, if you've been out in the water or something like that, it is it's just so handy having one of those. And this is the uh, the newer what I call Cherokee Shub. It's more of a shower. It's a deep enough tub to maybe bathe a baby or a dog, but it's also deep enough to keep that uh, little shower curtain kind of under, you know, control so that it doesn't leak out and dribble water everywhere. And that's a fairly fluffy, friendly bathroom there. If you're preferring something like a porcelain toilet, that is not a real hard upgrade to apply. So just kind of give us a shout on that. Awesome counter space here. And they added more of those little uh, organizer cups. Perfect, especially in the bathroom for things like, hey, everybody gets their own little uh, individual toothpaste space and little things like that. I don't know. Is it just me at my house? Like every member of our household has a different toothpaste. Like one of us has sensitive teeth. One of us has princess bubble gum uh, toothpaste. That's me. <clears throat> and outside here, she's only seven foot wide, which means like if you've got a, a good tow package SUV or like a medium sized truck, you know, it's not quite as big and bulky. You can still see around this thing pretty darn easily. Although that being said, I really do always recommend towing extension mirrors. Don't skimp on safety stuff, please. Speaking of which, this thing already has a camera on the back of it, so keep that in mind when we get there. Power tongue jack on the front is a black label feature. You see the uh, the Heart Show propane cover and the magnet holdbacks and extra floodlighting over here on the door side of the RV. Those are all black label upgrades that you're getting on this one, which is nice. Now, you might notice the battery box there. If you look up on the roof, this does have a simple uh, solar battery battery tending package that has been doing all of the the electrical work for us today which is great inside this uh front storage compartment not just a recurve r3 which is a near silent uh anti-sway and low distributing hitch but just all kinds of accessories i'm seeing wheel shocks and leveling pads and all sorts of things in there from the previous owners they just really didn't get a chance to use kind of like the inside they dressed this thing up and decked it out and then just unfortunately didn't use it Got the propane quick connect down there if you want to do some grilling. And uh, we've got a little mini fridge on the back corner here as I back up. If you want to do a little bit of, uh, you know, drinking and chilling, which is kind of cool. So in a sense, you don't even need to lug along a, uh, <laughs> a cooler for this one. It is a power awning, by the way. But one of the things I like here, the outside speakers are mounted kind of at like chest head level, depending on how tall you are. So you're not blowing away the neighbors, which is kind of cool. And there's an outside TV hookup just below that big campsite window there. Um, that entry door, remember, it is a full viewing window. It does have the privacy shade and it has the stable steps. It just has one crazy smexy look about it. Along with the frameless tinted windows, uh, that is another of those uh, really cool black label features. Uh, the cargo rack, the spare tire applied to the back here, and above that uh, rear bathroom vent fan, you see a roof vent cover up there, giving you some good kind of rainy day airflow. Now, it doesn't have a ladder, but it is a fully walkable roof. Little campers like this, uh, a little side mount ladder to get up there, not the scariest thing in the world. A big giant fifth wheel when you're even further up in the air does start to feel uh, a little bit sketchy. Uh, you might notice again, I've left that kitchen window open just to let some air cycle through this thing here couple other little details I want to point out. Four corner front and rear power stabilizer. No, I'm sorry, not power. Pardon me. I don't even know why I said that. Manual stabilizer jacks. Uh, it takes so much of the herky jerkiness out of the RV. You can literally see my chicken legs and the reflection of this high gloss fiberglass. Look at this. I mean, you want to talk a mirror like finish. Uh, I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that right there. Water heater and the furnace both have some handy little mud dauber screens to keep the bugs out of them, which is really nice to not only just keep them working, but to avoid potential flame outs and things like that. I'm telling you, eh, wow, that is sharp, sharp looking little rig. So I asked you, can a camper be better than new? 
What do you think? What if you could get Siemens new financing without the new RV price tag? Because that might be possible. This thing is so virtually new that that's, that's seriously pending finance approval. That's something that could literally happen. So if that sounds good, give us a call. We can do trades. Obviously, it's got a hitch in there. Might need a little labor charge to get that set up for your vehicle. Just depends on how they're going to marry up. So just kind of little setting proper expectations there. But short of that, guys, this is, this is no-brainer right here. When you're ready, give us a call. We'll get you camping. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.